starting off in a standing position, have a chair by the side of you because you'll need this later. This is mountain pose. Breathing here for a moment. Remember, even just standing like this can be a big adjustment for our post-pregnancy body. Our hips, legs, back and tummy have all been through a lot in the last year or so. So taking time to stand correctly and realign the spine is essential in helping us to regain good posture and adjust to our new non-pregnant body. As we go through this section, tune into how you feel at all times and stop if anything doesn't feel good, particularly if you're between six and 16 weeks postpartum or if you've had a C-section. Remember, if it has been less than six weeks since giving birth, stick to the new mama section for a while. Try and focus on your breath here, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Really lengthening up through the top of the head, almost as though a string's pulling you up towards the ceiling. Each time you exhale, pull in your pelvic floor. As you inhale, release a little. Trying to practice this pelvic floor, pulling in and releasing as much as you can throughout this section, but also after you've done this section as well. Feel calm and relaxed with every breath now. Then raise your arms up into the air and come to a half squat into a chair pose. Really feel that strength through the bottom and the legs. Keep the back nice and straight here, lowering down. Taking that again, raising up, feeling nice and strong, feeling the muscles in the bottom and the legs engage. Really reach up through the fingertips, then relax down. And coming back into your chair pose. Long, deep breaths here. Try and engage your pelvic floor on each exhalation. It's a gentle way to tone the bottom and legs. Feel the muscles working hard now. And then when you're ready, release. So next we're going to come into a palm tree pose. We're going to come up onto our tiptoes, find that balance, use your core strength and then lower back down. Take that again, coming up. And then when you're ready, you're just going to bring the heels back down. And again, lift up onto the toes, pull up through the top of the head Feel that length, feel that alignment through the whole body. Focus on one point in front of you to help your balance here. And then bring your arms back behind you, palms facing back. Squeeze the shoulder blades slightly, push out through the chest. A great way to tone and strengthen your arms. And you'll feel here your legs working quite hard, but also you'll feel how you're engaging those deep inner core muscles as well. It's a really safe, effective way to tone the tummy after birth. Using your breath to allow you to relax down. Then come up into your palm tree pose again. Focus on one point in front of you. This is a really good one if you've been carrying your baby a lot or feeding your baby a lot and your arms, chest and shoulders feel tight. Relax when you're ready. So still working with balance now. In a moment, we're going to move on to a one leg balance pose. Raising one leg up, slightly pointing the toes. This is a great way to deeply and safely tone the tummy. If you're less than eight weeks postpartum or if you had a C-section, it's a good idea not to raise the leg up very high. If neither of these things apply to you, then you can raise your leg up as far as is comfortable and gently engage the core. Keep your supporting ankle relaxed and relax and spread the toes as well. 
Make sure your supporting leg is not taking all the strain and really feel the strength coming from the core. You can squeeze a little further if this is comfortable for you and you're safe to do so. Focus on the breath. Focus on building that balance through the core. Release down. And then do the other side, lifting up. Remember, just staying here if that's safer for you. Using your breath. Focusing on one point in front of you again. But thinking about balance coming from the core, not just the supporting leg. If you want to raise it up further, you can. Squeeze it in with one arm. As close and towards the body as you can. Don't worry if you wobble a little and squeeze it in with both hands as well, if you like. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Releasing down, shaking it out. Next, we're going to do the eagle pose. Bring one leg over the other and then just gently bend both knees slightly. Wrap the foot around the leg, both palms face up, cross over, in towards you and then lift up in front of the face. Another great balance pose. This is really good for toning your legs, bottom and arms and again really good for safely building core strength. Releasing down, relax your arms completely. And we're going to do the other side. Wrap the leg around the other one. Lift the foot up off the floor if that's comfortable for you. Bring both arms up, palms facing up. And then lift them up in front of the face whilst we wrap around each other. Inhale and exhale through the nose. Enjoy this sense of relaxation and peace and most importantly, this special time for you. Releasing down when you're ready. Allow everything to relax for a moment. A little shake with your arms and your legs. Let go of any tension there. And next you're going to need a chair. Bring your chair over onto your yoga mat now. And raise one leg up onto it. Raise the same arm up and feel that lovely stretch all the way through the body, from the tips of the fingers to the tips of the toes. Flex the toes a little. Feel that stretch through the calves and the hamstrings. Really safe way for building flexibility through the whole body. Then gently rotate the body, opposite hand to opposite leg, Bring the other arm down, look over the shoulder. Safe and effective way to gently twist the body. Really good for detoxification, circulation and toning the side of the waist. Sliding the hands down now. If you can, reach for your toes. Allow yourself to have some length through the spine. And if you want to ease a little bit further into it, you can, or you can ease up. Just do whatever feels comfortable for you. The main thing is you feel a nice, deep, but comfortable stretch through the leg. Sliding the hands up the leg, lengthening the spine. Bring the hands behind the back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. If you can bring them into a prayer position, do so. This is a great way for building upper body flexibility and toning the arms. 
Maintain that length through the spine. Feel as though the top of the head is being pulled up towards the ceiling. Release the arms down. Then grab hold of opposite elbows behind the back. If it feels comfortable for you, start to stretch forward a little bit. Just go as far as is comfortable. This is building flexibility through the spine, flexibility through the shoulder area, and then ease up. Bring the leg down and raise the other leg onto the chair. Feel that lovely stretch through the leg as you raise the same arm, stretching from the fingertips all the way through to the toes. Maintaining this stretch, but make sure your toes are flexed now. Then coming into your twist, opposite hand to opposite leg, you lower that other arm down and look over the shoulder. Feeling that strengthen and tone the muscles through the side of the waist, deep into the core, and then release down. Slowly sliding forward, so you grab hold of your toes. Breathing deeply here. Sliding back up, come into prayer position behind the back. Really make sure you're pushing out through the chest here, you're squeezing your shoulder blades together, pulling up through the top of the head. Each time you exhale, pull in that pelvic floor area. As you inhale, you can release it a little. Bring the arms down and then just grab hold of opposite elbows. Then start to come forward. Remember, don't overstrain here. Just enjoy that stretch all the way through the back of the leg, as well as through the spine and through the arms. And then slowly coming up. Release the leg down, turning the chair so you hold on to it now, as though you're holding on to a belly bar. This is going to give you support for our next exercise. Making sure the heels are together into a plie position and then bend the knees coming down. Keep the feet flat on the floor, back up again and we're going to come down and lift up. Inhale, exhale, using the breath. Hold on to the chair as much as you need to here. Think about length through the spine. This is a really good way to tone and strengthen the inner thighs, the bottom area. And again, you're working with your core. And then just bring the legs back. So the hip width apart, toes pointing forward, lift up one leg and then slowly lower. Make sure the leg isn't swinging each time it comes up. Do it slowly with control. You want to feel the muscles all around the hips and in the bottom, as well as down through the side of the leg working here. Really good for toning the outer thighs. Again, try and engage your pelvic floor as much as you can. using your breath. Now the other side. Again, make sure each exercise is done with control and with effort. Don't just let it swing out. And you can just move the chair to one side now and you're going to come back onto your mat. So just come to a sitting position, extend the legs out. Breathing deeply. Then when you're ready, just come to an extended kneeling position. Extending one leg out, look up towards one arm into a gate pose. 
You should feel this stretching and lengthening the muscles all the way through the side of the waist. You should feel that opening up the shoulders, releasing neck tension. So it's both great for strength and to help build flexibility. Let's do the other side, extend the leg out, slide the arm down, reach the other arm up, look up towards it. Inhale and exhale through the nose. And sliding back up now. Come back to your sitting position as you were before, this time holding for a bit longer with the hands behind you. If you can, lift the bottom up off the floor, come into the rising to the sun pose. Feel the strength through the arms, through the core, a really good upper body toning exercise. Remember, you can rest earlier if you're comfortable. And then when you're ready, lower down. Then just bring one leg over the other. We're gonna do a spine or twist pose now. Gonna lengthen up through the top of the head, rotate the body. You have one arm underneath the leg, the other arm's behind the back. You may even be able to reach the hands together. Make sure your extended leg has the toes flexed. Very good for lengthening and toning the side of the waist and really good one for boosting the energy as well. Come back to your starting position and let's do the other side. Lengthen through the spine, pull up through the top of the head. Don't worry if you can't reach the arms together, that doesn't matter. All that matters is that you're rotating just as far as is comfortable for you, but you're also pulling up through the top of the head to lengthen the spine. Next, we're going to come into a high plank position. Make sure your bottom's in line with the neck, abdomen engaged. You should feel the muscles working hard, but no strain, so rest if you need to. A plank is a great way of directly working the abdominals without causing strain. And come back for a little break. And then come back up again if that's comfortable for you. You feel your arms and your tummy working hard here. Releasing. And then slowly come down into a low plank. So you rest on your forearms here. You should feel your arms working a little bit harder now. Releasing onto your knees. Stretch back for a moment. Come back up into a high plank. Now you can either hold here if you like, or you can come in to a side plank. If you want to put one foot on top of the other, you can. If you feel this work in the side, come back into plank and then to the other side. Start with one foot in front of the other, and then if and when you'd like to, one foot on top of the other. And back into your plank position. Come onto your knees, bring your bottom back towards your heels, and then lie onto your tummy. Bring the arms down by the side of you, touching the outer thighs. Squeeze the legs together, lift up head, neck and chest, lift up the arms. Lowering back down. Again, lifting up, keep the arms really close and towards the body and lower down.
This time you may want to try it with the legs, squeeze the legs together, lift them up and lower. Lift and lower. Lift, squeezing the legs, squeezing the arms and release. Then bring one arm on top of the other, forehead onto the top hand. Feel the mind relaxing, the back relaxing, the legs relaxing. Enjoy the sense of peace and also achievement of completing your yoga for today. Enjoy this moment of rest and stay here as long as you like.